Hey guys, it's Stephanie from stephaniemorephoto.com. Today I'm going to show you how to do a super quick gorilla eye swap. Not actually on a gorilla, um, actually on a client. But this is how I do it super, super quickly. It is one of the most requested things I get asked for when I'm editing for other photographers with my Like a Boss edits. So I'm going to show you super fast how to do this. So what we're going to do is on this image here, I want to replace her eyes so that she's not druggy and blinky looking. So I'm going to go to my good image over here. I'm going to take my lasso tool that's up here in the corner. If you're into shortcuts, you can just type L on your keyboard for lasso and it will select that tool for you. Then I'm going to take it drag a little circle around her eyes. You don't have to be accurate. We are going to fix everything later. Go up to select, modify, feather, and I always pick a feather radius of about two pixels. It seems to be the thing that works the best. Hit OK. You're going to go up to edit and then copy or command C for a shortcut. Then go over to your desired image and you're going to hit Command V or Edit Paste up here. There you go. Take your little move tool that's up here in your top left hand corner. Grab that layer and drag it over approximately where you think it should go. Um, what I do to make sure that her eyes are lined up and she's not going to look like an alien later is I go to my layers palette and I decrease my opacity to just over 50%. I'm going to look and make sure that her eyes are lined up when I have them exactly where I want them. Then what I do is I bring my opacity back up on that layer and I'm going to toggle the visibility of it on and off by clicking this little eyeball over here by the layer. So it should look like she's blinking. You can see that around the edges here there are some sort of extra things that you don't particularly need in this image. So in order to just clean up that selection, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my eraser tool. I use a nice soft brush when I'm erasing. My opacity is at 100%. So click a nice soft brush. I'm going to go around the edges of that layer that I just dragged on there, around her hair, around the edge of her face here, um, and just kind of remove anything that shouldn't actually be on there. Sometimes I'll go in between their eyes, make sure the bridge of their nose is all lined up and doesn't look crooked, etc. And then when I turn this on and off, you can see that it just looks like she is blinking, which is what you want. So, if it all looks good, everything's all perfect and gorgeous and glamorous and that sort of thing, and you want to flatten this down, what you can do is go up to your layer menu up here, go flatten image, or if you've only got one layer going on, you can hit merge down or command E. That will flatten your image and you can save it as usual. You can continue editing, do whatever you like with that photo because now she looks like she can see. Anyways, that's how you do a super quick eye swap. If you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up in comments. Hopefully this will be a little bit helpful to you as you're trying to sort through all of your images. Um, shouldn't take very long, but with practice you'll get faster and faster at it. Thanks so much, guys, and hope you're having a great day.